Maternity. Maternity is the easiest subject in the nursing and it contains 20 to 30 percent weightage in the anthrax as well. So, if you are expert in this subject, you can easily gain 20 to 30 percent in your passing score. So, maternity has total six chapters in the nursing, including normal reproductive system, obstetric assessments, which includes signs and symptoms of pregnancy, physical changes during pregnancy, diagnosis related to the pregnancy and risk conditions related to pregnancy, normal label and delivery with its complication, postpartum period and its complication and care of the newborn. So, in this video, I am going to discuss about signs and symptoms of the pregnancy and what are the physical changes a mother feel during the pregnancy. So, keep watching this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe it. Hey friends, I am Roshni Shah, your nursing study expert. A place to help the nurses all over the world. I make videos related to the nursing and NCLEX. So, if you are new, press that red subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So, let's get started. Alright, so before learning the signs and symptoms of pregnancy, the first very common question you will get is Naglase rule. So, what is Naglase rule? With the Naglase rule, you will able to identify the expected date of delivery. So, for that, you need to have LMP, last menstruation period. So, add the 7 days into the first day of LMP. Remember, add into the first day of LMP. So, add 7 days into the first day of LMP and add 9 into the months. So, for example, your uh, uh, LMP is 3rd Jan. 3rd January is the LMP. So, you need to add 7 days into the 3 that will be your 10th and 9 months into the January that will be your October. So, 10th October will be your expected date of delivery. This is the most common question you can get into your NCLEX exam. And the second most common question you will be having is a GT PAL system. GT PAL system is nothing but the gravida, term pregnancy, preterm pregnancy, abortion and living baby so before that first know this terminology what is gravity gravity means the number of time uterus has been pregnant regardless of the age of the baby so if that is a, uh, converted into abortion that is also known as a one gravida and what is para what is parity parity means the number of viable pregnancy so the fetus has been viable at the 28th week. So 28th week, before 28th week, it is known as abortion. 20 to 37 week is known as a preterm delivery. 37 to 42 week is known as a term delivery. And after 42 weeks, it is known as a post-term delivery. So you will be having a question like a woman has delivered a baby for one time and uh, the baby she has an abortion at uh, 18 weeks of pregnancy so what will be her gravida and uh, what gt pal system so next what are the signs and symptoms of pregnancy there are three signs of pregnancy first is the presumptive sign second probable sign and third is the positive sign Presumptive sign is nothing but the presumptions of a woman. What a woman can feel is a presumptive sign. Second is a probable sign. What RN can see and identify through the assessment is known as a probable sign. And third is a positive sign is the definite sign. is the confirmation sign which is done by doctor through the diagnosis. So let's see. What are the uh, presumptive signs? So, what mother feel during pregnancy? First of all, there will be no periods. So, it's amenorrhea. Second, a mother will have uh, MSs, nausea, vomiting kind of sensation. The baby is growing inside the uterus. So, it will cause a pressure over the bladder and she will have more urination. So, urinary frequency and urgency. Then, she will feel the baby movement which is known as a quickening and she will have a breast enlargement and sore breast. She will be tired all of the time. 
so this all are signs which a mother can tell you so it is a subjective sign but cannot definitely say that the baby is growing properly inside the womb next next is the probable sign what rm can see and tell you so what rm can see is the um, fundal height so uterine enlargement then so, uh, the softening of the lower segment of the uterus is known as Heger's sign. Heger's sign will be seen at 6 to 10 weeks of the pregnancy. And then softening of the cervix is known as Goodall's sign. Bluish discoloration of uh, the vagina and cervix is known as Chadwick's sign. So because of the estrogen, the blood circulation is increased and more blood circulation to the perineal region will lead it to the bluish discoloration that is known as Chadwick sign and that can be seen during four weeks of the gestation. So the next is the positive sign, the confirmation sign which is done by doctor. So it is done through the diagnostic test, basically the ultrasound and ultrasound Doppler. And fetal heart movement, fetal heart rate is also a positive sign. One more thing which I forgot to tell you is a positive pregnancy test. A positive pregnancy test done by a nurse is known as a probable sign. Remember that a positive pregnancy test is not a positive sign, it's a probable sign. These signs will be asked in the exams uh, like you will get a scenario and where you have to identify is it a probable sign or presumptive sign or they can ask you like uh, which are uh, the signs from the following options are a presumptive signs or a probable sign Next, measurement of fundal height so how to measure fundal height at 12th week of gestation the uterus will be at symphysis pupils before 12th week it is not palpable then at 68th week, it is halfway between the symphysis pubis and umbilicus. At 28th week, uterus reaches up to the umbilicus. And after that, it goes up every week one finger breadth. And at 36th week, it reaches up to the xiphoid process. That's when the woman start feeling shortness of breath. And after that, it goes down one finger breadth every week. So age of the baby is equal to the height of the fundus. So for example, if the fundal height is 26 cm, the gestational age will be 26 week. It can be plus or minus 2. But if it, it is more than plus or minus 2, you, that is not normal, you have to report to your doctor. Next, what are the physiological changes a mother feels in the pregnancy? First, let's start with the cardiovascular system. So there will be disproportionate increase into the blood volume. The blood cells increases up to 25% and the plasma increases up to 75%. So it will lead to dilution and the mother will have physiological anemia. And increased blood volume puts more pressure over the heart. Blood, heart has to pump more and more. It will lead to increased heartbeat and increased heart rate. Growing uterus will lead to displacement of heart slightly upwards and towards left. Next into the respiratory system. The uterus is growing and it is putting pressure over the diaphragm. So it will put pressure over the lungs. The lungs decreases into the size. The capacity of the lungs also decreases which will lead to shortness of breath and increased respiratory rate. So oxygen demand also increases and the mother will feel always tired that's why she can take two to three pillows in the last months of pregnancy next in the gastrointestinal system the gi motility decreases it leads to constipation so straining at the stool will lead to hemorrhoids she will have a sensitivity to certain senses and uh, the scg and other hormone level increases which will lead to nausea and vomiting and obviously because of iron deficiency mother will have cravings for certain foods and pika sensation next is the renal system so the growing uterus is putting pressure over the bladder as well so women will have urinary frequency urgency 
Frequency and urgency is normal, but burning sensation is not normal. The stasis of the urine will lead to growth of bacteria inside and it will lead to recurrent urinary tract infection. The urinary threshold for the glucose is also decreases, so glucose is excreted into the urine. So increased glucose will also lead to a urinary tract infection. Next, in the reproductive system, the ovary function is decreases. Now all the hormones are produced by placenta. Then the breast size is also increased. The nipple and areola become more darker and more prominent. There will be Montgomery tubercles. So the remember the breast size and breast feeding is not related. Then next, after reproductive system into the integumentary system, the skin wound will have a black patches over the faces, which is known as miasma or cloasma, mask of the pregnancy. Then next is the stretch marks. Stria gravidum. Stria gravidum is seen on the abdomen, buttocks, thighs and back. The stria gravidum will become slightly silvery in the color after the pregnancy but it will not fade off completely. The miasma and cloasma, mask of the pregnancy, it will fade off after the pregnancy but not immediately. And it is because of the increased estrogen level during the pregnancy. Then, a uh, dark line at the midline of the abdomen is known as linea nigra so it will fed off after the pregnancy then vascular spider nevi is so seen on the neck chest face arms and the legs next is the musculoskeletal system so the center of the gravity is also changed so a woman uh, there will be a change into the gait as well so the woman will feel backache heel pain Wear the flat shoes and avoid high heels and use the firm mattress to avoid back pain. These all are the physiological maternal changes and the mother will also feel some psychological changes. So what are the psychological maternal changes? So what are the psychological changes that a mother feel? First, she will be ambivalent. She will be happy as well as anxious about her pregnancy. So help her to express her feeling, help her to accept her pregnancy. Then after ambivalent feeling, she will be accepting the pregnancy acceptance. She will be happy. And then in second trimester, she will have a concern about her body image. So body image disturbances. Tell her that it is completely normal and uh, there should be no dieting. Normal weight gain during pregnancy is uh, Normal weight gain during pregnancy is 25 to 35 pound. If the woman is obese, 50 to 25 pound weight gain is normal. And for overweight woman, 10 to 15 pound weight gain is normal. And she will also feel mood changes during second and third trimester. These are all about the physiological and maternal changes of a mother. But the father will also have some changes like a mother. So he will also feel the uh, same like mother, nausea, vomiting and dizziness. Uh, that is known as a Kuwait syndrome. And father will also have a feeling uh, like the mother is not giving attention to him. She is always focused on the baby. So that is completely normal. Uh, help him to express his feelings as well. So in this video, today we have learned about the physiological changes, maternal changes that the mother will have during pregnancy and what are the signs of the pregnancy that mother will feel, what the RN can identify and what a doctor can see and confirm the pregnancy and how you will know the expected date of delivery and the GD power system. So if you like my video, please press the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe it. Topics related to the discomforts of the pregnancy will be covered in the second part of this video. So stay tuned. Till then, thank you.